guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we are going to be looking on my excellent bin, and you know what? I'm starting to wonder if compost worms are carnivores, because what I have in this bin has been eating protein sources for about four months. Stick around and I'll tell you the story of what they've been doing and also show you what we're going to do next. So what we have here is a pound of my Red Wiggler mix, which is Red Wigglers, Blue Worms, and European Nightcrawlers. And for about the last four months, they have been getting mostly eggs. Um, we started out feeding them some hard-boiled eggs and some raw eggs, and one of the last times we actually fed them beef rib tips. And last time we fed them um, raw, uh, two raw eggs. So I'm not sure which side of the bin is which. I think I put, this looks like new bedding, so I think I'm gonna start here in the middle. Oops, wow, okay. The bin has stayed nice and damp with that little uh, faux lid on there, but I'm seeing um, eggs are inside this egg here, which is, uh, I don't really smell anything. Um, it's allergy season, but looks like, uh, looks like they're getting into those eggs. So let's look and see if there is any evidence of those re uh, beef rib tips. I did have them sitting inside of a egg carton uh, so that I could find them again, but looks like the egg carton is completely gone. Uh, one of the other things that I thought would happen when I was starting to feed uh, protein sources here as their major food, I think this is part of a rib tip here. It kind of looks like white paste. Um, Put that over in the corner. Uh, but as we're going through here, I don't, I don't see a lot of leftovers. So this bin is, uh, I'm utilizing my prepared bedding. So that means that it's about 80% shredded cardboard and also 20% coconut coir. The worms are enjoying themselves in here because I see a nice big fat cocoon right there. Looks pretty new. And the worms in general, they're looking, you know, pretty healthy. I know a lot of the, the viewers have been concerned about protein poisoning and feeding them protein might cause protein poisoning. But to my understanding, protein poisoning is actually when the food ferments inside of the worm, causing it to have that kind of string of pearls um, appearance where they kind of look like pop beads and then the worm of course dies. Um, there's there's no cure for it. If you see worms with that, um, do not expect a recovery because they they will not. But they instead of being you know like a normal worm shape here, what you'll have is uh, unfortunately what looks like pop beads or um, pearls, like a string of pearls. So um, being that that is mostly caused from uh, fermenting things, uh, we have done some things to mitigate any sort of problem that I might have in this bin with any sort of food that I feed. And one of them is to make sure that they have someplace else to go until, you know, the food becomes available to them. So basically, you know, if I feed egg over here, um, then I make sure there's enough room on the other side of the bin that uh, they can get away from it if, if the food becomes, I don't know, acidic or, or, or whatever happens when meat breaks down or, you know, um, eggs break down. So I always make sure that there's someplace else for the worms to go when I'm doing these experiments. Um, and this isn't a very big bin, and yet there's still enough room. I mean, this is a couple, you know, feet long and then a little over a foot wide. Um, and it's probably, what, only six or eight inches deep? So, they, you know, even so, I feed in a localized area to make sure that my worms can get away from something if they don't like it. And, of course, they know best. They're not going to go getting into something that is bad for them. Um, they'll go up to it, and then they will go away. But one of the things that I was concerned about was that I would have an uptick in mites or springtails or something because I was feeding a weird food. And as I'm talking here, I'm trying to hold still. Um, 
so that I can see if there's any uptick of mites and I don't see it. Um, and that, that was actually what I thought was going to happen. I didn't think that there would be pro dang it, protein poisoning or anything like that. I actually thought that um, I would see um, different bugs in here than usual and that that would be my problem. All right, so it looks like they've pretty much eaten everything that I gave them last time. I don't see any problems, so I'm going to give them some new bedding here. I'm going to put the old eggshell. Obviously, the eggshell is not going to break down very quickly. Um, so I'm going to put all that in one place so we can find it again, and then we're going to leave this area here for them to, you know, roam about you know, in case they don't want it. Now, today's feeding is different, again, from anything else I've ever fed before. So I do can my own food, and I'm not very tall, and the top cabinet kind of got things shoved to the back, and this is a soup starter mix that is uh, shredded uh, beef, I believe. It's got some tomatoes, and then it has got some barley in there. Um, and this is about 10 years old in a can. It's not rotten. It smells totally normal like it did when I put it in the can, but it is definitely past its sell-by date. So I'm not going to feed this whole bowl to the worms, but I am going to give them... Oops, not that much. So this does contain meat, some meat, uh, but you can see that this is like uh, shredded beef. Um, but that's what they're going to get this time. It, so it has some grain, it has some vegetables. Um, I never put any salt or anything in these sorts of things because they're done in a pressure cooker and um, it's done with pressure and not like steam like you would in an open water bath like you would do with uh, tomatoes or pickles. So I'm going to get them a little bit more bedding to cover this up. Okay. So, have you ever fed meat before, and uh, what was your experiences? Let me know. And uh, how do you, is this experiment that I'm doing here, if you are, have been watching for a while, is this turning out how you thought it would, or are things progressing differently than you thought they would? Um, put that in the comments below for me. All right, guys, well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my fam worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.